Yo, what up guys? It's your boy Al Capone bringing you another haunted adventure alone at the haunted Blair Witch House. Man, it's been a long time since I've been here. I've documented so much paranormal evidence here before. I'm already hearing noises. My friend Angie got possessed here. I've been touched. EMF meters. I'm going to show you a picture right now of a ghost. My friend Marie actually caught on camera here. That picture you see was caught by the window next to the kitchen. I'm, I might be stuttering a little bit because I'm super nervous. I'm out here alone in the woods, and you guys know how haunted this place is. It was even on Paranormal Caught on Camera. And, you know, I, I decided not to come back for many months just because of how evil and sinister this place is. And I feel like bad luck follows me. I even created a Dybbuk box which was a big mistake now my house like has hauntings and weird activity but i'm here for you guys so make sure you smash that like button and let's go so we're going in guys the famous blair witch house one of the most haunted houses ever at least one of the most haunted houses i've ever documented a funny thing about these 666s and do not enter and the demonic things you'll see on the walls here in the Blair Witch House appeared out of nowhere. When I took Todd, Angie, and Marie to this house, there was demonic symbols all over this place that weren't here previously to us documenting this place. What was that? Hello? Is anybody in this home? I'm just making a video. I want to check these back bedrooms because I feel like people could be hiding back here if there's someone in this house. If you're a spirit or something demonic, you cannot hurt me. God is my protector. But you can make yourself known. See, like these symbols, or what I'm talking about, these appeared out of nowhere. Whether someone was pulling a prank or not, I don't know. The hair is still in the bathroom. I've been touched in this bathroom. Whoa! Oh! Oh, the chandelier. The chandelier. Hello? Somebody out here? Somebody out here? Oh my gosh, that's scary. Oh. Is there someone around this corner? I want to make sure this house is clear. This is why I do not like this place, and this is why I doubted even coming back here. It's full of evil. Oh, I hate this place. Like I said, whoever, spirit or demonic, you cannot hurt me or harm me in this home. This is, I'm protected by God. freaking out dude this is the most haunt one of the most haunted places I've ever been I don't know why I came out here by myself and I don't get really good phone reception so if something was to happen to me I just hate this place oh god, oh, god. These rooms I hate so much. Look at the mold. It's gotten worse. Yo, I just heard a whisper. Did you guys hear that voice? <clears throat> it sounded like it said get out. It sounded like it came from this room. The 
this place is so scary. I heard something in the kitchen. This place makes my anxiety run so high. I don't know if you remember me. I'm sure you do. I've done so many investigations here. And I've caught you on camera many times. What the fuck? What was that? What was that? What was that? Yo. I'm honestly scared to death. Oh my gosh, my heart's pounding. I feel like I could have a heart attack in this place. She's coming. I remember that. I remember seeing that. Like I said, these appeared out of nowhere. These markings you see. Oh my gosh. This is the window right here. Like I showed you in the beginning of the video where the face was actually captured. And look, there's a big demonic cockroach right there. Ooh, that is gross. Oh, whoever's here, or whatever's here, are you the witch or are you the demons that the witch summoned? I'm all ears, but I'm protected by God. Like I said, no evil shall hurt me. But in the name of Christ, I want you to reveal yourself. Whoa! It's happening again, dude. I hate this house, bro. They need to tear this place down. Oh. Oh my gosh. Look what it says right there on the wall. Oh. I hate this place. I hate this place so much. Now something I didn't tell you guys is I've actually had nightmares. That's another reason I took breaks. You guys, so many people request me to come back here. What you don't understand is I've had nightmares about seeing a lady dressed in all black and a fire surrounding her okay and those nightmares happened for weeks after investigating this place like crazy dude oh 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 my gosh oh i just got pushed i just got pushed oh my gosh dude i felt two imprints on my body push me oh my gosh oh Oh, we need to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray that you protect me. No evil can harm me, Lord. Please send your hands down to touch me. Protect me, Lord. Please, in your son's name, in Jesus' name, amen. Oh! Oh! Yo, I'm closing this door. Yo, dude, what is... There's a monster... <laughs> There's a monster. Oh my gosh. Oh. I can't believe it. No. In the name of Jesus. Oh, there's a bat. In the name of Jesus. There's a bat right there. Oh. Oh. In the name of God, I repent you. Oh. Oh, you can see. Yo, I'm about to run out of here. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna vomit. I'm gonna throw up. Don't throw up, Alex. Oh my god. 
you know, the, the demons here, the witch, the demons she summoned, they remember me. All the investigations and the nightmares I've had. Oh. oh I feel good, dude. I feel sick, dude. I was pushed. Oh my gosh. Yo. I need to step outside. Let's step outside. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh my Oh, I want to run, but I'm not going to run. My face was, oh, I might be sick. Oh, my face went fierce. Oh. 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 Oh, this whole land is just like cursed, dude. Oh. Yo, I need to take a second. I'm going to turn off the camera. I don't want you guys to see me throw up. I feel sick. Guys, I'm gonna turn off the camera for a second and regroup. And then we're gonna go in and do Necrophonic. I wanna hear the voice, see what she has to say. All right, guys, I made it back into the house. I got Necrophonic over. And a door or something moved or shaped, shook. I didn't catch it on camera because I was setting up for Necrophonic. <laughs> Who pushed me? Was it the witch or a demon? Who was it? What is that? Is that scratch marks? Dude, I got three scratch marks it looks like. That's where I got pushed. I felt a jab in my stomach and starting to burn. Look at that. It's three claw marks. One, two. Who scratched me and who made that noise? Who was that that did that? Oh my god. Who was that? This house seems to be like more active since the last time I was here. Ah, my stomach, bro. I don't know how long I'm gonna make it. Who's here? What's the witch's name? What's. What's the demon's name? Who scratched me? It sounded like I did. And by the way, before I came in here, I was vomiting. I didn't want to show that on camera. That's, that sounded like a... Turn that off. That sounded like a female whimper. Guys, my camera battery just died. I'm feeling drained. I don't know how long I'm gonna spend in this house. This is a nightmare. Like I said, whatever, when I made that Dybbuk box and I sealed whatever was in that box. From this house, I think I, I did trap a demon in the Dybbuk box. Now you know I'm Jewish. My OG, OG viewers know I'm Jewish. And in my religion and culture, the Dybbuk box means to trap the evil inside and seal it with the candle wax. Well, we found demonic symbols, and we broke them up that we found at the house. Some of the hair from the bathroom, we put it all in the box. I said my prayers. This is for my newer viewers. And I, I, I spoke in Hebrew. I did my ritual. 
Now this box that sits in my garage from time to time again will actually move on its own, okay? And I do have activity in my house. And after that video, we came back, Angie said she felt something in her mind taking over, okay? So this house is full of evil. Nightmares will follow you. Bad energy will follow you. That's why I don't like this place. We're gonna walk around one or two more times and then we're getting back out of here because I got a 15 minute walk through the woods and this place sucks and I'm all alone and it's so scary. I mean, look at the scratches on me, dude. Like, I got scratch. Like, that's something evil. That's not no human spirit. Remember the story and the history of this place. The lady was a witch, okay? The lady liked to... She loved witchcraft and seances and people would write it off as mental illness yo I thought I'd just seen somebody walking out back I hope not but people would write it off as mental illness and it would just be it would be I don't know maybe she was mentally ill but she also practiced and dabbled in dark stuff like people would have to check on her from the hospital caretakers and they would always come in pairs of twos because of how scared they were of this house and the lady Yo, I'm so scared to walk through here that's why I'm storytelling to take my mind off it but I'm so freaking scared see I don't know what that symbol is supposed to mean it looks like there's a handprint attached to it. Like, what the heck? That is unbelievable. This place is so freaky. This place is so freaky. What was that? Oh, man, hell no. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. I'm starting to feel like I'm hallucinating a little bit. Somebody back there! I'm not playing if someone's back there! Oh my god, I hate this house. I'm not messing around. I will defend myself. A lot of you say, Alex, you're just talking to a ghost. Well, the truth is, there could be somebody in here squatting. But in this house, it's definitely something demonic. I just like to take my mind off it. Yo, I'm getting out of here, guys. I don't know how many minutes I'm in. Close to 30. But I'm about to get out of here, dude. This is too much, dude. Whatever's in this house has to stay here. In the name of Jesus, you cannot follow me. Whatever you are, the evil that's here, you are not allowed to follow me home. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm starting to feel like off balance right now. All right, let's get out of here, guys. We got a long walk through the woods. A long walk through the woods. What the hell was that? Hello? Yo, the window just made a noise. Yo, something's walking in the grass. Hello? Bro, what was that? Yo, yo. So I was in here earlier trying to get the nun to come out and play, but. Ah! Ah! Oh! 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 You okay? What happened? What happened, bro? Oh, shoot, you got scratched. Oh, I'm bleeding, dude. You're I'm bleeding. starting to bleed. You are bleeding. Heard the footsteps? Yeah, I heard the footsteps back here when I was 
just walking out with her footsteps behind me. Dude, look at this bed, bro. It's nice you need to. Yo, you should lay on it. Yo! What was that? Guys, welcome back to Yorktown Memorial Hospital. This is my nighttime paranormal investigation with my boy Carlos. I did a video in the evening right before the sunset and picked up some crazy activity, including a ball bouncing in the room full of dolls. You can hear patients screaming and moaning, apparitions, children moaning. I mean, people even get scratched because they have tattoos. The nuns in the church do not like tattoos. This place was opened up in 1951 by nuns, by the Catholic Church. It's super haunted and historic, one of the most haunted places in the United States of America. And me and my boy Carlos are about to go savage and investigate this place. I heard something down the hallway already, and Carlos is outside. Guys, let's do this thing, come on. Alright guys, if you like I said, if you haven't seen my first part here, I recommend it. It was just getting dark and I picked up some wicked activity. Yeah, and me and Carlos were split up the whole time. So we yeah, had, had two parts. different Yeah, we had two different videos being split up. Both parts guys you definitely gotta check on both parts but we split up the whole time during the day investigation. Walking around here and we got some crazy activity guys. Now we're here at night. And it just feels like it got heavier as the dark, as the night kept on coming. So, I said this in my first video, but in the chapel, if you speak some prayers, I guess you could see what, like red eyes of a nun, an apparition of a nun pops out. I forgot my flashlight. You want to go to the uh, chapel? Yeah, go ahead. Let me go and get my flashlight. Okay. I'm going to actually pull up some scripture on my phone. Any spirits want to communicate? This is a real casket. Dude, this is going off, bro. Dude, this is this was just going off. Bible scripture. I'm looking at Bible scripture, guys, right now. Romans 8, 38, 39. For I am convicted that neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, nor any power, neither any height or death, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Dude, it just got colder. It's here. cold. John 15, 13. You guys can see I'm reading straight from my phone. Greater love has no one than this. Lay down one's life for our friends. Palms 27, 12. The Lord is my light and my Savior. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Yeah. Can the nun show show yourself right now? Something made a noise back there. Yeah. Oh, is there something walking around back there? Sounds like someone's walking back there. Bro, it got really, really cold when you started doing the scriptures. It's freezing in here. It's freezing in here. Can you touch that EMF meter on the casket there, that black box? Do you want me to preach some more? Oh, you heard that. Those footsteps, right? Yeah, it sounds like someone's walking around. Guys, we're the only ones here in this building. There shouldn't be footsteps like that.
Can you please help me? Can you please touch this black box and let me know you're here? Let's go to the basement, dude, and split it. The basement, the basement is scary, bro. I'm scared, bro. If y'all haven't seen my first part here, I caught like a candle falling off a table in this basement. All right, guys, we're going down to the basement. <laughs> dude, it's even colder down here, dude. It's a big basement. Can the spirits come out and play with us? I didn't even explore the whole basement in my first video. What was that? What the hell was that? Yeah, there's something in this room with me. I don't know what it is. This place is so scary. Oh my gosh. I feel like people got abused down here. Hello? What is this? Oh, this is creepy. Oh my God. No way there's a bed in here, dude. I didn't even see this part. That is insane. There's an actual bed in here. What's over here? I wonder if the nuns stayed down here. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. Smash that like button right now and I'll lay in this bed. This place is just beyond freaky. Now, if you guys decide to get, come here, you have to get in touch with the owner. We do have permission to be here. We are all alone, but you cannot trespass or break in. You would go to jail doing that. This place is awesome, and it is so spooky. What? What's happening? No. 
No, bro. Listen, did you go in here? I heard a slam over there, but no, it was all... Did you go in here? Listen, there's, there's a doorway. You go all the way in there, bro. There's even more. Yeah, there's a bed, right? You yeah. seen that? Bro, that's creepy. They have a bed down in the basement, bro. Is that the boiler room? Is this where they, 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 the guy killed and put him stuck in the boiler? Remember the murder? Yeah, I know. I know. This might be it. But yeah, this is the boiler room, bro. It's gotta be. Yo, bro. What's up? Definitely had to come over there down to where the bed is at, man. I heard footsteps. I told you I heard footsteps. Let's go check it out. Gotta check it out because I don't want to be alone going in there like, and trying to investigate. I would rather <laughs> you be with me to go look at that bed there. You're lucky because you called me at the right time. I was on my way you out of the basement, dude. You were going out of the basement? Yeah, I was going to leave you down here. That jail cell's wicked, bro. You, you know how many know? people probably got tortured in there? Bro, how many people got locked up in there? Maybe even starved? Yeah. Bro. I'm telling you, go this way. This bed is crazy. Why would you have a bed down in the basement, man? Who stayed down there, you think? Like know. the nun? I don't know. Probably someone was going to watch the... See, yeah, I was going to say security or something? Probably was going to watch the person that was in the gym, so... This whole room is freaky. Well, this is like a living area. Look at it. This is original furniture. Look at this bed, bro. This is where you heard, heard the footsteps? And, yeah, I heard the footsteps back here. When I was walking out, I heard footsteps behind me. Dude, look at this bed, bro. It's nice and me, too. Yo, you should lay on it. No. Yo! What was that? What was that? Carlos! What was that? It was a loud noise, dude. It sounded like a door, but there's bro, so bro. many. So many doors around here, bro. Something slammed. Bro, something slammed hard. Is somebody in here with us? We have permission to be in here. You're trespassing. Bro. Dude, that is so scary, bro. You are trespassing right now. I told you I heard footsteps now. That big old slam, bro. It could have been anything, bro. Oh, dude, yeah, don't leave me behind, bro. Oh my god, my heart is pounding right now. I'm right I feel like I could have a heart attack. I'm not gonna lie. Bro, this, this, this is crazy, bro. This basement is the nuts. But the good news is, if I do have a heart attack, I'm in a hospital. <laughs> I don't think so, bro. Yeah. I don't want to be operated by anybody. Did you go over there? Yeah. Where's the camera? I don't see the camera. That's the one where the camera's in the Whoa! Whoa. Oh, Bro. Almost went off the balcony, dude. That's one of those cameras uh. that you uh, scroll, you know, Oh, I do see it. Over and it has film I it. do see it. I wonder what that footage, what that camera has. There's a doll up there, too. There's a doll up there, too. Oh my gosh. This place is majorly creepy. Guys. If you watched the first footage, I was getting intense off here when I went close. I was in the second floor. I remember being downstairs and hearing all the noises. Does that move, bro? Because whenever we were here day to day night, it was not that position. Well, you see that black blanket hanging? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that was in the other room. And then all of a sudden, later on it moved. Is the nun up here? My tattoos are exposed right now. This is so creepy. Dude, I get the heaviest feeling in this room. Let me look at the original furniture. So I was in here earlier trying to get the nun to come out and play, but. Oh! 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 You okay? You okay? What happened? What happened, bro? Oh, shoot, you got scratched. Oh, I'm bleeding, dude. You're I'm bleeding. starting to bleed. You are bleeding. Oh, bro. <laughs> My arm. Ow. You okay? No. 
Oh. I was, trying, I was just gonna say, oh, oh, there's three I knew there was of them. Something heavy in this damn room, bro. Oh my God, Carlos. Ah, my burns, dude. Burns, bro. Oh, this. I can't help it, dude. This hurts so bad. It's, oh, that's. It's on fire, bro. It feels like fire burning my skin. I was just gonna say, dude. I earlier I was in this room, uh -huh. and I was. I did it for science, okay? I was trying to get the nun to scratch my arm, and I kind of intimidated the spirit. Oh, I just thought I saw a black child just walk past there. Corner of my eye. Oh, my God. Oh. This is killing oh, yeah. me. Bro, you, those are actually bleeding. I know. Bro, you're actually bleeding there. Oh, it just, it just started burning all of a sudden, and then I felt the sensation of getting cut. I'm going oh. Bro. I'm glad it was him and not me. I'm sorry, spirits. Oh, gosh. Guys. Dude, I can't believe that happened. It just hurts so bad. Bro. I was standing right in the same spot earlier when I was calling out to the spirits. Oh. What was that, Carlos? I don't know. Did it come from one of the rooms? Whoa! Oh, that fell out of my pocket! <laughs> Bro. <laughs> dude, my hands, dude! That fell out of my pocket, I swear to God! It's like something pulled it out of my pocket. I'm not even joking! Turn it on. Turn it on. Go grab it. Turn it on. Turn it on. Did you just pull that out of my pocket? You said in your phone. You heard that, right? I did. You said in your first part, the flashlight got... Yeah, it got pulled out, out of my pocket. pocket. Touch that box right there for us. Bro. Oh, my light on my... My battery is starting to die. What is this? Bro, my hands were full. I had my watch in my hand. What is that? The Bible? No, no, no. This is a novel. Oh my gosh. You okay? No. Dude, I'm getting attacked, bro. Okay? I'm getting attacked. I'm getting physically harmed right now. You wanna go already? I'm kinda of scared, I'm not gonna lie. Nah, bro. Come on, we got Something's we pulled out of my pocket. Let's yeah, stick it out, bro. Bleeding. Oh, I'm in so much pain. This place is nuts, bro. When they say this place is extremely hot, it's extremely hot. Oh! Oh! Look! Where'd that come from? Did that fly out of the room? I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sketched out. Right, I'm trying to find where that noise came from. Oh my god. Oh. Bro, this is freaking crazy, bro. Oh my god. I can't believe the book, dude. Bro. We're being attacked. This was the patient's room. Yeah, I gotta replace the my camera battery, my light battery. Oh, there's a bed in here and everything. I don't feel right. I don't feel good. I don't feel right. right. Let's go back down this way. Oh my god. My light's dying. Your light's dying? Yeah, I oh yeah, it is. Place out the battery. Hey, do you want to use my flashlight? Turn yeah, until I get my battery. Yeah, here. Appreciate that. Here's the flashlight. What was that noise? You heard that? That sounded like a moan. Dude, the book. I'm scratched, dude. My arm is... Look at it. Dude, it's like scarring. 
Oh, I gotta grab my cake too. Oh my gosh. It's crazy, bro. It's weird, cause look. I was just holding it and it like started going crazy. I don't feel no. good. What the hell? There's a candle lit in here. Stop playing with me right no, now, bro. bro. Look. Lit candle. Stop playing with me. Bro, look at that. You see it? I do see it. I want to get the heck out of here. You guys see that flame? How is that going to light like that, dude? Bro. What was that? I felt like I was pushed. Oh! oh! What the hell, bro? Bro, you okay? Yo, 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 yo. You okay? Yeah. Yo, you okay? I like you, you just fell on the floor. I don't feel good. Bro, come on. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Get up. Get up. Get up. Bro. I'm getting attacked by something, I'm telling you, dude. Bro, what the hell? Come on, come on, come on, come on. I wanna go. Here, here. Bro, let's go, let's go. Oh my god. What the hell just happened? Yo. Where'd that book go? I, I kicked it into the room. I kicked it into the room. Let's go, come on. I'm coming. Come on, come on. Go. I feel nauseous. Come on, bro. Come on. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm trying. Oh my god. Something's attaching to me, Carlos. Oh, bro, come on, come on. We gotta pray, bro. Something's attaching to me. I feel all right, it. All right, just, just go downstairs. Just go downstairs. Yeah. Al's over here freaking... Look, 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 I'm on. I know, I see. It's, it's, it's falling up more. Come on, let's go. Okay. And I don't know, he just, just passed out right next to me. I okay. felt like I was pushing and he passed out. Where are we? Guys. Where's Come on, this one, this one, this one, this one. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Oh my God. Do you smell gas? I do smell gas. What the hell does that smell, bro? I smell gas. Ooh, what was that? God, this is intense. All right, guys. Guys. All right. We gotta get out of here. Al's being attacked. Al, come this way, this way, this way. I'm coming, bro. Someone's calling my name over here. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Okay. Let's go straight out. Outside, outside. All this right. way. I don't need All you right. to get possessed, bro. All right. For real. All right, all right, guys. Hope you like this investigation. We got to get out of here. Something's attacking Al. Al just passed out, and he got scratched upstairs by the nuns. I guess that's the nuns because they said, they said the second floor is where the nuns were at, and we got tattoos. And I'm glad I didn't oh get attacked. God. I made a big mistake. Sorry if I'm freaking out, but this something here really likes to mess with me, and it's really scary. Carlos is at. Oh, get the hell out of here, dude! Capone Squad, welcome back to another adventure with your boy Al Capone. Tonight, I'm joined by Carlitos Way TV. We actually just got back from the Bucks game, baby. First playoff uh, win depending on when you see this video, but the recording date, first playoff win against the Eagles. Now, we're at a haunted, rumored to be haunted, abandoned motel, and there was actually a murder here, and that was confirmed. I was able to find the news story online, but I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna tell you guys where to search that, just for privacy reasons. I don't want no one to really know where this location is, for safety reasons. Now, this place looks really scary and really creepy. And honestly, my heart's pounding just being here. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Come on. Just walking around getting B-roll. And Carlos thought it was hilarious. This bird tried attacking me. 
Oh yeah, this place. This place is so creepy. Hello? We only checked out a couple of these to get some B-roll. We did hear a door slam off camera from one of the other buildings. I heard something squeaking over here. This is so sketchy. Dude, do you think this was Section 8 at one time? Oh, I don't even know where he's at. I thought he was behind me. What is that, like a chair right there? Yeah, it's a recliner that's flipped upside down. Ooh, it says aloe, with the aloe plant drawn on the door. I actually have an aloe plant myself. Why is this mirror got like, was it burnt or something? Looks like this mirror was actually burnt. I got the heebie jeebies in this place, I'll tell you that much. Dude. <laughs> This place is creepy. It is creepy. I was coming, I was actually gonna come to mess with you. No, no more of that, bro. You're gonna act like Mama Bird <laughs> and try and attack me. I'm actually gonna go over to the next. You gonna go to the next? Yeah. Right, no problem. I'll be over here. You gotta see what we're walking through. Make sure you smash that like button. Because, uh, yeah, you can see. We got a lot to uh, explore. We're going savage for you guys. Hope there's no snakes or nothing. It says Zeke. Hopefully Zeke ain't in here ready to jump out. Hello? Hello? Dude, somebody was using this to bathe. Oh no, I guess they were using it for the fire to keep warm. See the soap next to a tub. It made me think like the olden days. Hello? Someone was trying to make this their home. They were obviously, they were obviously trying to um, cleanse this place, cleanse of any roaches. Somebody here with us? <gasps> Holy crap. That can't be the wind, we're boarded in. Dude, I'm freaking out right now. That just fell over by itself. I'm just so on edge that someone's over there. But that is scary. That just fell over by itself. That is scary. Ah! Spider or something crawling on me. I'm gonna have to censor out some of these words. I'm freaked out. Carlos? What the 
hell was that? Come out, come out! That blood all over the wall? Come out, come out, if you're in here! I want you guys to leave it down in the comments if you see or hear anything I miss. I have no explanation for that bottle of raid. Falling on its own. I'm legit scared. And this looks like blood right here. That could actually just be paint. That doesn't make this place any less freaky. Someone destroyed that toilet boy. Someone took a six pound and a half. Six pound and a half chalupa and that's why it big old chalupa. Dude, where the hell is Carlos at? Look at the size of that ant. That's the queen. There she goes. That's the queen ant right there. That thing is big. You don't want to get bit by one of those. This is number three, whatever that means. Why is there a toilet just sitting right here in the living room? Dude, so I was in the room, the first room on this building right here, and a bottle of Raid fell over by itself. Yes, it scared the hell out of me, and I have no explanation. Huh? The roaches are trying to get you. Nah, bro, it wasn't no roaches. <laughs> there maybe the spirits of a roach being killed by the raid bottle. <laughs> maybe. You getting any uh, spikes of that? Um, just got in here, just looking to see if I get any spikes. All right, man, I'm gonna keep it exploring. Uh, some weird EM, uh, spear box. Weird spear box? Yeah, some... I hope we're not in danger, dude. I got a bad feeling, though. Huh? I got a bad feeling that. There's somebody here with us. Especially after last explorer, yeah. yeah. We've been having bad luck. So I actually like that idea. We're gonna run Spirit Box. I wanna get some answers on this location. See what might have pushed that raid bottle over because there was no reason why that thing should have fell by itself. Who's here in this building with us right now? There's a lot coming through. Did you tell my friend to run? Something touched me! Something just touched me! Yes, it took it literally tugged on my on my shirt. I told you, one of these rooms I had I had them say freaking uh told me to run and asked me what I was doing. Well, I just asked it. Did you Whoa, tell my friend? It just spiked up to 180, bro. Stop lying. Yeah, now it's at 150. Dude, something tugged on me. It, it was 180. I'm scared, bro. I'm legit scared. It that was, freaked me out. Bro, the EMF beat just spiked up to 180. It's going down. I'm not lying, bro. Something tugged on my clothes. Anything here? Let me see your EMF meter real if quick. If you want to sit here and touch this. That thing was, I seen it spiking, yeah, it's it went, like 115. It went 115, that's normal, that's probably normal right there. It was up to 118, that was right here. No, it went to 180. 180. No, it was going up to 180. It's in this room, something happened right here. 130, look, 130, 120. Like I said, if there's anything here, you want to touch this meter that I'm having in my hand, I'm holding out, look, 130. And it's not like the cameras, I'm, I'm actually, you know, pulling away from the camera. I just want everyone to see, that was at 180, that top number there. This is, that's right where I got tugged at. Dude, something happened to someone right here in this room. Is there anyone here? Wanna touch this? 
Make a knock or touch his meter if someone's here. Knock on the wall. Did you, why did you pull on me? Dude, I can't wait to see my own face reaction. I freaked out, bro. That was so scary. I'm just trying to see if there's anything to sustain it up on the on the FD. Like I said, that was the highest spike I've had so far. It was the 180 right there in front of you. I'm scared. I don't even want to be alone, bro. I'm freaked out. If you freaked out, come on, man. Up. I've had some bad experiences already, bro. You didn't even witness the raid bottle. Where that's hug. I mean, it's hard to man up when All right, I'm gonna you just go got a bad there, vibe. Then. I'm going to go over there then. All right, I'll All right. go to the next one down. This place has my number, guys. Like, Sorry if I'm freaking out, but this something here really likes to mess with me, and it's really scary. Carlos is at... Oh, get the hell out of here, dude. Who's there? Dude, the door opened by itself and slammed. Oh, dude. Something here really likes to mess with me and it's really scary. Carlos is at... Oh, get the hell out of here, dude. Who's there? I don't want to be here, bro. I don't even want to be here. Get the hell out of here, dude. I guess we gotta go look, huh? I guess I'll be a chicken if I don't look. Hello? I just seen something, a shadow or something back there. Can you move that door for me again? Move that door, close it. Close that door, like you just did. Scary as teddy bear on the ground. Give me a sign and close that door. I want you to shut it. With all your power. Someone's like, pants, what is this? What the hell is this? I do not like this, dude. I'm sketching out. Why is there so much? Junk on the ground. I don't even 
even know what. I know there was a murder here, but I feel like there was a lot more that went on. Is that you, Carlos? Yeah. Alright. I feel like a lot more went on here than just a murder. Like some real negative BS went on here. Something super demonic. So you seen blue? I seen red paint in the other room, but that looks more like a blood splatter room. That looks like true blood right there. I'll tell you what, since Carlos was just telling me that there's somebody, there's a, the second part of this motel that's abandoned is across the street. It's a really big property. And there's someone walking over, over there with a flashlight. So we'll stick together. Yeah. To the last place, I think. So this door slammed. That door slammed shut, bro. I was trying to see if it would do it again. Like, I feel like a seance happened in this damn room with that teddy bear. Whatever spirits are here, dude, they seem to really like me. Yeah, because you've been getting a lot more activity than I have. I got a little couple spikes from that little EMF here. You, so think, you think me freaking out and putting energy out there Could be. makes them want to attack me more? Dude, this place is dirty. Oh, yeah. This is a big one. Yeah, why is it all open like this? Yeah. It's a real big one. See anyone? Yeah. I don't see anybody. But there's a road there. There is a road. Heard something? Yeah. Spider web. I flipped the camera just to talk. Get the f out of here, bro. What the? Is somebody back there? Yo, what up, guys? Welcome back to another haunted adventure. All alone at Spook Bridge. If you missed my last video here, I was with Carlos. Carlos walked a mile through the woods back to the car. I'm gonna go alone first, investigate by myself, and then Carlos is gonna come out here and do his version of the alone while I sit in the car. The reason why we're doing it like this is because we're eight hours away from home. My boy Carlos has to get home to his family. I have to get home to my daughter. So we're not able to drive back and forth, back and forth from state to state to state. So I'm here now by myself. Um, me and Carlos, about an hour ago, we had some crazy things happen to us. I, I mean, movement in the woods, crazy necrophonic session, a scream. I'm honestly so shooken up about doing this. But uh, Capone Squad, let's face the spook bridge alone. But I'm not alone because I have you guys. Let's go. Yo, just even knowing my friends only a mile away, which is still 15 minute walk through the woods, this is still beyond creepy, I mean. All alone at Sweet Bridge. Oh my gosh, I got chills. And just to show you guys that I am 100% completely alone.
Now there's a few things I want to let you guys know. And that is I'm only going to be doing 15 minutes. I just heard something. I'm only going to be doing 15 minutes because it is like 4 o'clock in the morning and I got to get back home to Florida to my daughter. And did I just see a shadow? Somebody over there? I just seen something dart across the, the bridge. What the hell was that? That was a big old splash. Make sure nobody's on the bank. That is so unbelievable. If you guys ever get the chance to come to Spook Bridge, highly, highly recommend you do it. Because of how creepy it is in the stories. If you missed my first video, I explained some of the stories. A bus full of children actually went over the railings right here where you see the railings missing. Killing all the students and the teacher. And also there's an old house in this in these woods here. In that house, a man killed his wife and hung himself afterwards. So there's a lot of crazy history, man. And it is beyond freaky. I'm ready to run. I'm ready to run like hell and get out of here. And yes, it says my name right there. Is that wind chimes? I don't see no wind chimes on the, the bridge. That was freaky. Is that you trying to give me a sign? That sounded like chimes. There's so many satanic drawings and spray paint and evil, wicked looking things on this bridge. This is an abandoned highway, remember? This used to be a highway. I just heard a woman talking. Can you speak to me again? I heard you scream earlier. Was that you screaming for help? So earlier, me and my boy Carlos were doing an investigation. He, w he was doing necrophonic, and the spirit box warned him about the woods. Well, at the same time, I was on the other side of the bridge over here at the end, and I heard movement, constant movement, movement, caught it on camera in the woods. And the necrophonic was trying to warn him. And the necrophonic actually told Carlos my name, Al. And that's what Carlos calls me, Al. This place is so spooky. And big shout out to the Necrophonic. That link is in my description. Oh, what's that light? I think it's cars way, way out in the distance. Man, it's cold.
There's a reason why they call it a spook bridge. Because of how damn spooky it is. See, I hate all the pentagrams drawn all over the place. And if you look at it, the pentagram is X'd out, but there's also an upside down. Well, maybe it's not upside down. That figure over there, what the hell is that? I don't know if this is like marble or what this is, but it's all over the bridge. It's like colored stones. Maybe they're trying to decorate it. I just heard a woman speak again. What is your message? What are you trying to tell me? Are all the deaths true? Give me a sign. Are all the deaths true? I'm going to keep this footage as raw as possible, guys. <clears throat> That's what I'm going to try and do. There'll be not too many edits. Because this is a long one. It seems to be oh, kind of chill right now. I mean, I... I've heard talking, we've had a few signs. Something just stepped right next to me. Something just stepped right next to me. I don't know if that was glass or... That was freaky. Turn back now. It was like something was walking right next to me. It's like I was walking and I felt something on my hip, like a breeze. And then I heard something crunch next to me. I don't know, this place is so strange. All the deaths, all the activity, all the worshipping that's taking place here. This place is filled with bad juju. And rest in peace to all the souls that passed away. In the bus crash, the woman that was brutally murdered by your husband, I'm so sorry for your loss. May all the spirits here find rest. Man, we're going to do a couple more minutes. Walk up and back one more time and close this video out. Because I really want to see my daughter. I miss her so much. Maya, I love you. Daddy loves you. Okay, I heard movement again in the woods. Is that the female that's been trying to communicate? You can show yourself, I won't hurt you. I come in peace. I'm starting to feel lightheaded, guys. I come in peace.
guys hear that? I hope there's no bear out here with me. That'd be crazy, bro. I'd get ripped to shreds. Start heading back. It's just crazy, like being out here all alone, and the vibes and how I feel. Now, this isn't as scary as I thought it would have. I flipped the camera just to talk. Get the f out of here, bro. What the? Is somebody back there? Huh? This thing lit on fire, bro. Oh my god. And look at this pentagram. It has all the correct symbols. For worshipping the, the beast. I gotta get out of here, Capone Squad. I gotta go. I gotta go. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. I gotta go. I gotta go tell Carlos about this. Peace, y'all.